So the Ravens are interested in Bobby Wagner, but so are the Dolphins, Chargers, Broncos, Rams, Cardinals, Niners, Cowboys, Jets, Lions, Patriots, and the Steelers. So it's quite a long list. And then when you think about the situation, you know that most of these teams, they're going to be able to offer more bread than the Ravens will be willing to pay for one Bobby Wagner. Um, so Ravens going up against all these teams, um, if they are going to land a Bobby Wagner, and when I look at this long list, I don't think it's going to happen, but if it, it ain't over till it's over, but if they are going to land a Bobby Wagner, they would have to convince Bobby Wagner that they are in a better situation for him right here, right now than all these other teams are. You look at teams like the Jets and the Lions, um, even the Cardinals, you could be like, okay, hey, we, we in a better situation than those guys. Like, we, we ready. Like, well, yeah, look at last season. Uh, don't look at last season. Everybody got hurt. And even though so many people were hurt, there was one point where we were still number one in the AFC. But then our quarterback got hurt, and you know the rest of the story. But that real competition comes in with teams like uh, the Rams. Uh, you see the Broncos, they loading up. The San Francisco 49ers, we'll see what their quarterback situation is. The Cowboys, who wouldn't want to play for the Cowboys? The Chargers, they looking tough like usual. The Dolphins, they... Dolphins, Dolphins, and then they, they beat up on the Ravens last year. But that was last year, but still. Dolphins, uh, and then even the Steelers. The Steelers, if they get a quarterback, or when they get a quarterback, whoever that quarterback may be, that could either persuade or dissuade somebody to go to Pittsburgh. So that's what the Ravens are against. So, again, it's looking like, based off of that long list of people, it's looking unlikely, but it is not over. And, of course, with interest. Interest is cool. Being interested in somebody is nice. But um, interest is where it starts. Deals are where it finishes. Deals are where it finishes. Deals are where it ends. And, hey, all these teams, they could all be interested in Bobby Wagner. But that doesn't mean that they're going to actually pursue him. This is where it starts to pursuit. Bobby Wagner has a leg up on free agency because he's a free agent right here, right now. He doesn't have to wait until Monday to come to terms with an, to an agreement with it. He ain't got to wait for all that. He can do that right here, right now. So, and, and this is his first time, I believe, testing the free agent market. So, you know, I'm sure he's going to have some fun with it. He ain't going to rush to make any decisions. He's been with Seattle for his whole career. So this is his this is a fresh start for him. So usually players they don't rush into these things. Usually players they 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 take their time, they pace themselves, um, and they they make their decision when they make their decision. Uh but Ravens, they they do have some stiff competition. They got some stiff competition for sure. Um so it would be nice to have a Bobby Wagner. It would be lovely to have a Bobby Wagner, but based off of this list, I don't think the Ravens will be having a Bobby. Wagner. It is a move that fits everything that the Ravens stand for. Number one, defense. Number two, he's a short tackler. We know tackling was a huge issue for the Ravens last year. And I would think that with the Ravens, everything that was wrong last year, this year you want to try to make it right. Obviously started with injuries, but as far as defense, the tackling, the miscommunication, all of that stuff was so bad. It was so bad. So I would definitely not be surprised that the Ravens are interested in Bobby Wagner. But another thing, too, Bobby Wagner, um, he gives you consistency. He gives you high-level play um, on defense. But more importantly, <laughs> or depending on who you talk to, uh, he wouldn't cost against the comp pick formula. And there you go. That That's probably what really got the Ravens sold right there. Oh, you, we ain't got to use a comp pick. He ain't going to count against a comp pick. What, what if somebody else signed one of our players? We ain't going to get a comp pick. Oh, sold. But we'll see what happens with Bobby Wagner in Baltimore. Bobby to Baltimore. I don't think that hashtag is going to be around too much longer. We can keep trying, but I just, yeah, based off of that list, I, I don't think it's happening. But you never know. So we'll see.